Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Tony Stark himself took his Stark Industries funds and dumped it into a theme park? Well, that's exactly what we get to find out here today as we go on an adventure through this theme park through Tony Stark's legacy in the Stark Expo 2024 with special appearances from some of your favorite Avengers. Sounds freaking awesome, so let's get right on into it. Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're looking at Stark Expo 2024, created by Squash Pickle. And here they say Stark Expo 2024, celebrating Tony Stark's legacy. It has been years since the events of the Avengers Endgame, and you and a select group of VIPs are invited to honor Tony Stark's legacy on a private island in the Bahamas. Uh. Experience the latest in technology, innovation, and trust Try our food and entertainment brought to you by our favorite Avengers. Encounter life in the fast lane with custom audio, the Iron Man experience, a fully narrated dark ride quantum quest. Then why not take to the skies in the arc? and Howard Stark flyers before going underground with the underwater coaster hybrid. Once you have enough G-forces, take a river tour before parting the night away at Rogers Radio and Captain Marvel Co. The party is just getting started, then why not end your evening at a bite at Pim Kitchen? We've shrunk you down so that the portions can be bigger. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks you. Thank you for providing an excellent competition. I had a lot of fun designing this and getting to revisit some of the favorite aspects of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Sounds awesome. Let's go check out this Stark theme park. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all doing fantastic today. Here we are at the Stark Industries Expo 2024, the park entrance. Please experience all park and attractions at night. Full nighttime park. Very interesting indeed. Because I find with um, Iron Man specifically, and all of the Avengers really, there's a lot of fun colors to play around with that you might not see as well at night. But hopefully, this expresses it here. Right away, we got a Captain Shield. Freaking awesome. I love me some Avengers. I've seen every single movie in the series so far. Except Black Widow. And I think there's another one with the... Uh... Yeah, I think there's another one somewhere. They're, they're releasing them too fast. I can't keep up, guys. Alright. What do we have here? Rogers Radio. A light show. I saw some fireworks in the background earlier. And here's the arc. This is a gigantic, uh, what do you call it? Whatever, the, the arc in the center of Iron Man's chest. They just like made it bigger. Is that what's happening here? I mean, not much to ride in terms of, um, it's, it's a Ferris wheel, guys. I, I just want to see if there's any inner workings here. It's very chill, it's very relaxed. I wonder if a Helion would have worked better for you because it's so much more radical and to Tony Stark's personality. Plus, it's a little bit smaller. It just spins a lot faster, which would make sense for the arc, I think. <laughs> Not really sure. All right, Stark Island Tours. I mean, we might as well. Well, we'll save the more exhilarating rides for later. Rider's Choice. Yeah, let's see what the uh, boat ride has to offer. I'll cut to it when it's ready.
All right, I like I like how you divided your park with those kind of channels. Now, I'm wondering for the boat ride in particular, if there's anything that you could have done to maybe give us like a brief history, a look into Tony Stark's past and talk a little bit more, because uh, it would make sense that there was some sort of artificial intelligence talking, so you could have used one of those um, text-to-speech voices and given us a little bit of a backstory on, you know, Tony's father, Tony Stark himself, the Avengers, what some of the attractions were passing by, you know, like a standard tour boat, ex explaining to us a little bit more of what we're going to expect throughout this theme park. I think that could have made it a little bit more jazzed up, but it's all right. Like I said, I like these channels going through the metal here because you get an opportunity to add some lighting in there and some bridges and some fun stuff like that. It appears we have a coaster over here. This is the hybrid underwater coaster or whatever was mentioned earlier. So here we go. Let's check it out. Okay. Lots of stuff going on in here. Hmm. All right, trade one, seat two. Thank you for that. Very fun. Tony, Tony Sp Stark likes his parties indeed. Seems like uh, the place to come and party. Hank Pym, Science Center. This is where they must shrink all the food. Let's go check out the Pym Kitchen. Is it is it a ride or is it just a food cart? Okay. <laughs> Time to shrink. I see, I see. So we shrink down and all the food becomes large. So we can eat to our heart's content. That's quite fun. If you could have <laughs> one food be massive, what would it be and why? Throw your comment down below. Oh boy, I don't even know what it would be for me. I think it would have to be something sweet that I like to snack on. Like maybe like caramelized popcorn with peanuts. That'd be a good one. Or how about something more savory like some prawns? Can never get enough of uh, seafood. It's always bite-sized. All right, muting all volume except for park music, as requested here by the sign. Why is there no music? I think you gave me the wrong instructions. I see. I had park music checked off. Still no music. I'm going to turn the soundtrack on. Nothing's working. I think I finally got it. Welcome to Pim Kitchen. I just need to open these doors and your tour of the kitchen will begin. Now then, it should just be this button and... Oh no. Okay, don't panic, but I may have pressed this supersize option. Stay right where you are. I'll get this fixed in no time. Can you hear me? That may have made you a little bit too small. At least you can live out your superhero dreams as an ant. Head through this vent. I think it should take you through to our kitchens. I'll try and find a way to fix this. You've made it outside. Good. Head past this picnic and it should take you to our freezer. Just a word of warning though, we might have a spider problem. Where's Peter Parker when you need him? 
Okay, good news. We found a way to grow you bigger. If you head through the corridor to the exit of our restaurant, we've installed a super size scanner. And just so you know, this most certainly wasn't an over elaborate way to get you ready for a super delicious meal, lovingly prepared from your favourite scientist, Hank Pym. Just exit through the gift shop. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like it. Now give me uh, 10 minutes to figure out what my settings were again. <laughs> Okay, I think we're cooking. <laughs> we are ready to go here. That's a fun way to do your food court in a Stark Industries concept. The Hank Pym Science Center, that's where we just were, right? That's where we're supposed to exit, I guess. Quantum Quest, unless I'm wrong. Somehow I went up the exit, probably, most likely. Ride us some flat rides here today. Okay, very cool. We're saving the best for last, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the Iron Man experience. Also a meet and greet, but he's not here. He's probably late. Oh wait, I guess if this actually takes place in the Avengers universe, spoiler alert. Nah, I won't tell you what happens. You all know. Ooh. See, I was hoping for more of this kind of stuff. That's great. All the different Iron Man suits. Really nicely done. Jesus. I'm not doing it again, I'm sorry. That took me too long to fiddle with. Welcome to the Iron Man flight experience. During your voyage today, you will experience the same twists and turns Tony Stark encountered during his time in the Iron Man suit. With a revolutionary ride system, prepare for maximum forces and maximum fun. Systems powering. Fully charged. Playing Tony Stark Rock playlist. Thank you for encountering the Iron Man experience. <laughs> That's great. Let's, uh, I want to see this park during daytime, to be honest. All right, here's a look at it. 
It is honestly really vibrant. I love the fact that your coaster track is colored like Iron Man. The Iron Man coaster experience does leave you wanting a little bit more, but the fact that the coaster takes place within the Stark Industries theme park resort, uh, it can't really simulate some of those epic Iron Man scenes of flying really, really high or going in between buildings or doing that sort of stuff or having a fight scene. That would need to be like a, a handcrafted exploration coaster contest or something like that. And it would be really hard to achieve during this mini park contest. So I think you did the best experience possible with that. And you did a, a fun little soundtrack and simulated some of that stuff, which was cool. And you definitely paid tribute to Iron Man where possible. That's fun. This is more focused on Stark Industries and Iron Man than the other Avengers, but you threw in some of the the pim technology we have we see little uh hits of um captain america's shield which was in uh, developed by i think tony stark's father so really everything here is in fact stark industries which is a fun take on like a marvel theme park i really like it and i love seeing concepts like this we saw an avengers ship in the last year's contest i think it was warm guy who did that which was really cool and we did see a marvel theme park which zell featured i want to say in 2021 as well and after seeing three different marvel themed theme parks it still leaves me wanting more and i hope we see more vibrant fun creations like this in the future squash pickle taking the approach of stark industries which i really think is a lot of fun for me personally the only thing that i would give in terms of critique and feedback is having a little bit more height in this park it's very very flat and i would imagine a stark industries building or facility having a lot more height to it as i mentioned with the roller coaster the the tony um the iron man roller coaster i would imagine he would go up a lot higher drop down a lot further and if we had some sort of giant facility here we would have a lot more room to work with and then you could layer the the dark ride here with another ride on top and maybe have us explore the interior of the building and have a little bit more of a hall of fame like we saw down here with the suits um i really like this idea having all the suits in a row and i would have liked to see a facility that kind of en encompassed a lot more of that kind of stuff where we have kind of um a tribute room but it's pretty strong it's pretty strong it's really fun and i love this Iron Man boat that we get off of. It's a fun way to enter into the theme park. It's got a lot going on for it. You decided to go with two coasters, a dark ride, a transport ride. That brings you up to four, which is plenty. All right, there it is. The Stark Expo 2024 created by Squash Pickle. What did you guys think? Fire away in the comments down below. And that is going to do it for me in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.